Hello and welcome back to the Sports News. Right now we're joined by good friend of the show, James McIntyre of Forge Gym. James, how's this going, buddy? Man, it's going pretty good. How about yourself? Not bad at all. Thanks for asking. So, got to ask, for those of us that didn't make it out to the event, how was the Who's the Boss boxing event? Oh, it was a great time, good for the community. It started off with a national anthem performance by local R&B star Jesse Lester, and uh, he blew the whole roof off of the thing, man. He knocked out six fuses. If he would have went longer, he probably would have shut the lights down. Wow, we, so <laughs> nothing wrong with starting off on a high note like that. Now, we uh, also had some good speakers there, Noble Ray, ex-police chief. We had Michael Johnson from the Boys and Girls Club there, and uh, of course, ex-champ Eric Morrell was there, and we had Megan Gaza, uh, 2015 Miss Body Figure, champion was there and uh, she actually came in as a ring girl too so it was great. Oh wow now for the actual events how were the fights themselves? <laughs> of course I know you want to know about the fights. <laughs> so we started off with uh, Giovanni Alamina uh, had a close split decision loss where he's getting better he's learning it was great I was proud of him we uh, had some women I, I love it man these girls are just as beautiful inside the ring as they are outside the ring and put on a heck of a performance. Uh, Juanita Chavez and Shelly Pratt, they, they stole the show, shut it down. We had a uh, local amateur, Marcus Johnson, who uh, he put on a clinic that night. I mean, left hook, right hand, couldn't miss it, landed it every time he threw it, and he took advantage of that, and it was great. We had a uh, local, well not local, we had star, MMA star, James Warfield, who uh, came in as a boxer, and he put on an all action. I mean, the, sh the, it, the fight was crazy. I shouldn't even be able to talk about it, because it, uh, Went to a no contest because of some <laughs> out of fouls got involved, but it was entertaining. And of course, the boss himself, Boss Hog Marcus Parker, did not take long, just 27 seconds. First round knockout, as promised, as advertised. He got it done, put it down. Oh man, I'm sorry I had to miss that one. I'm, I can't wait to see the next. So, speaking of the next and what's coming up, what is on the docket, not only for you, but for his gym as well? What we're looking at right now is, uh, of course, just keeping the guys training, keep working hard, and uh, we want to get something either December or January is what we're looking at, trying to get another event. Maybe this one won't be a pro. We'll try to put on an all-amateur event first and then come back with the pros a little later, maybe around uh, April, April of next year. Now, really quick, while I have just a couple seconds here, what are some of the goals looking ahead for you as you continue to work with Ford's Gym and put on these great events? Right now, we got Chris Owsley. He's a... Uh, a qualified for the Olympic qualifiers, and he's going for that, so we're gonna keep working hard with him, try to get him there. We got Ricardo Rodriguez getting ready to make his pro debut, so we're excited and happy about that. And of course, for uh, the boss himself, Marcus Parker, we're looking, trying real hard to get a televised fight for him, ESPN, Premier Boxing, so that's what we're working on right now. Something to be able to see him on the big screen, you know he's worked for it and deserves a shot like that as well. James, we wanna thank you for joining us again. It's always a pleasure. Yes, sir. James McIntyre from Ford's Gym will be back more of the sports news in just a moment.